Oh my gosh, you guys, it finally happened! And it was even more spectacular than I had hoped, than, than we had hoped. SpaceX's Starship has now officially become the most powerful rocket in history. The Starship, the most powerful rocket ever built, took off from a launch pad on the coast of South Texas on Thursday, 9.28 a.m. ET, but exploded mid-air before stage separation. The SpaceX CEO didn't seem to be disappointed at all. Musk immediately congratulated the team on an exciting test launch in a post-launch tweet and said they learned a lot for the next test launch in a few months. In reality, Musk had sought to keep expectations in check beforehand, saying it had a 50% of reaching orbit on the first try. But more launches are planned, and he believes there's an 80% chance of success before the end of the year. This launch marked the vehicle's historic first test flight. SpaceX's Starship Mega Rocket blasted off from Boca Chica, Texas's launch pad just after 9.30 a.m. ET this morning, lifting upwards by a record-breaking amount of thrust. However, Starship is not ready for prime time, but by finally taking flight on Thursday, the Mega Rocket is now in the record books as being the biggest, tallest, and most powerful rocket to take flight. This was a test flight and SpaceX wanted to see just how far they could take it. So having the rocket last for nearly four minutes represents an incredible accomplishment. The rocket cleared the launch tower and managed to survive Max-Q. The moment when a rocket experiences the greatest aerodynamic pressure and continued upwards towards space. Oh man, when I heard that, reached Max-Q from the command center. <laughs> Things turned sour shortly after the four minute mark, however, when the rocket began to exhibit erratic flight behavior, the rocket blew up, presumably the result of a self-destruct command issued by SpaceX ground control. Starship was approximately 37 miles or 60 kilometers above the Gulf of Mexico when it began to tumble. As the Kármán line begins at 62 miles or 100 kilometers above the surface, it cannot be said that Starship entered space. For this mission, SpaceX stacked Starship Prototype 24 onto Super Heavy Booster 7. Both elements were destroyed during the test flight. Launch preparations, including the loading of 10 million pounds of cryogenic liquid propellant, unfolded this morning without any serious issues emerging. Shortly before launch, SpaceX commentator John Innsbrucker said teams managed to resolve a booster tanking pressurization issue, which also having to attend to some final purging in the upper stage. The launch was briefly put on hold at the T-40 second mark, allowing the teams to perform final checkouts. The launch resumed shortly thereafter, with the methane-powered 33 Raptor engines igniting in banks or clusters, the first set of which erupted at T-6 seconds. The rocket rose upwards, clearing the tower, and produced an unusually sooty and brown plume. As the rocket ascended, several bright flashes appeared at the base of the Super Heavy booster, a potential sign of some Raptor engines fizzling out during the launch. As many as three failed during the first 15 seconds, with another four or five failing deeper into the short-lived mission. A graphic shown during SpaceX's live coverage displaying several unlit Raptors matched the visuals of the rocket itself. Had all 33 Raptors ignited, the rocket would have produced approximately 16 and a half million pounds of thrust. Still, with even a small portion of the engines not firing, the launch is sure to result in a new lifting power record. We're looking forward to SpaceX providing clarification on this and the reason for the sooty plume. Starship also appeared to shimmy horizontally during the early stages of launch, which also requires an explanation. Much concern heading into the launch was whether the jumbo rocket might cause damage to the 469 foot tall or 142 meter launch and catch tower and surrounding infrastructure. The launch site seems relatively unscathed, but we await further confirmation from SpaceX in the coming days. The first launch attempt on Monday ended prematurely after a problem with a valve created pressurization issues on the rocket's first stage. Engineers opted to switch gears and treat the remainder of the launch attempt as a wet dress rehearsal, which is essentially a practice run that takes teams through all the steps for launch minus the actual launch itself. But back to the current situation, although it ended in an explosion, Thursday's test met several of the company's objectives for the vehicle. 
Clearing the launch pad was a major milestone for Starship. In the lead up to Thursday's launch, SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk sought to temper expectations, saying success is not what should be expected. That would be insane. Honestly, that would have been a miracle if we went all the way. With a test like this, success comes from what we learn, and today's test will help us improve Starship's reliability as SpaceX seeks to make life multi-planetary, SpaceX tweeted after the explosion. SpaceX will need a new launch license from the FAA to make another attempt, but the company does not expect the process to be as laborious as securing the license for Thursday's launch. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson also took to Twitter to share his congratulations on the flight test. Every great achievement throughout history has demanded some level of calculation calculated risk, because with great risk comes great reward. Looking forward to all that SpaceX learns, to the next flight test, and beyond. And honestly, an explosion is not too strange for SpaceX. The company has been known to embrace fiery mishaps during the rocket development process. SpaceX maintains that such accidents are the quickest and most efficient way of gathering data, an approach that sets the company apart from its close partner, NASA, which prefers slow, methodical testing over dramatic flare-ups. They began building the first stainless steel prototype of Starship known as Starhopper in Texas, where it successfully launched on a minute-long, low-altitude test flight known as a hop in August of 2019. A series of suborbital test flights were designed to stress systems and components to inform the production of larger prototypes. In December of 2020, the much larger Starship serial number 8 prototype was the first to successfully launch from Starbase. After liftoff, it sailed to a high-altitude suborbital apogee and appeared to hover momentarily. Then it turned around for a belly flop descent back to Earth, but although it exploded just short of its landing pad, all of SpaceX's core test objectives for that flight were achieved. In February of 2021, the Starship serial number 9 prototype took flight. The 165-foot vehicle launched on a brief test and automatically throttled down its Raptor engines at about 33,000 feet. It then performed the belly flop using adjustable fins to establish a trajectory back toward the launch site. Though the test achieved SpaceX's primary objective, SN9 failed to fully flip from belly down to an upright position, causing it to explode on impact. SpaceX's third high-altitude Starship flight in March of 2021 saw Starship serial number 10 successfully complete all objectives and execute the first landing of the next generation vehicle. But minutes after sticking the landing, the spacecraft unexpectedly exploded. Starship serial number 15 was the first to launch, land, and remain intact. In May of 2021, SN15 took off from a concrete pad and ascended to an altitude of 10 kilometers or 33,000 feet before using its body as an air brake to descend back to the launch site. Just before touchdown, it rapidly flipped around and gently landed under the power of two Raptor engines, a first for the program. In the end, Musk's reasoning for efforting Starship and Super Heavy hinges on his belief that humanity needs to become a multi-planetary, space-faring species sooner rather than later. With a test like today, success comes from what we learn. And today's test will help us improve Starship's reliability as SpaceX seeks to make life multiplanetary. These words are a testament to Musk seeing Starship as the vehicle that will help SpaceX fulfill its vision of putting human boots on Mars. Ultimately, he wants hundreds of people traveling to the Red Planet in the massive space vehicle. And that just about wraps it up for today's special episode. Please don't forget to share your ideas in the comment section down below. What did you think of this spectacular milestone of a moment in history that is being made today? I could keep going on, but please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below because all of your support motivates us to create more quality videos like this. And for that, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.